Alright, so now that I am back, uh, let's go back to Pharos. Um, shouldn't have any trouble there. Because I've cleared everything out, I think. So, yeah. That would not be that fast landing. Nor that fast. Nor that fast. Well, I guess it stops fast, so it's fine. Everyone on board should have felt that. Especially at that. Alright, so let's get out of here. I really hate how how you can't just automatically get out. Okay, Caden's dead, so let's have Ashley and Rex. Because everyone else is crap. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Blah blah blah. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Yep, no one here. That's good. Now, where did it say to go? Exogeny headquarters. Zeus Hope. Oh, come on, I have to use the Mako. Oh, that's gonna be fun. What's with the jumpiness? I'll hold this position in case those things. Thanks for your help. At least we have time to regroup. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. That elevator? Oh my god, no. Screw the assignments. Oh my god, there's a lot. Uh, wow. Here's something that is an option. I could do all of these. But off camera. Or I can just not do them. Because... I've got enough stuff already. Yep. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. 
Are you doing anything to remedy? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. I have to go. So long, Commander. For a second I thought that said Ryan Reynolds. Too much Deadpool. Commander, what can I do for you? I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Wrong way. This way. And to the right. Yeah. Got it. Okay, let's see what I can do. Let's see the damage I can do. I want to finish the game this episode, so I'm going to go and do this real quick. Now that I think about it, I've already been here. Wait, like when I first played this game, I've already been here, so this would be no problem. So I'm just gonna go through this real quick. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like that, like wow. And I have no idea what I'm doing again. Banding these claws to anchor that ship to the side of the building. Subtle as a boot to the face. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? We need a way to give it a kick. Let's check the other claws. Damn things can't be perfect. Where are the other ones? Uh, can I get down there? I need to get to there. Okay, um... Must be here, because there's enemy here. Krogan so much. Everyone attack that. I will I am I am dead.
Lady Jill. I say kill him. this out. Keep looking. Shit. What is this, Commander? A containment? It's no armory, but tear up even one claw and that ship is gone. Okay. Thirty-two. I want thirty-two. So five plus seven gives me twelve. Plus seventeen gives me too much. Twenty-three. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Just like that. Doors will be open now. We can go deal with that Thorian thing. Damn. I'd like to have seen the face on their pilot when that thing toppled. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of guests and end things off with a huge crash. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you nope. have to. Uh, we'll do, Commander. We'll fire off a few warning shots. That should send them running. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Uh, where do I go? These maps are so confusing. You have no idea. I'll figure it out. So I thought I was recording. Uh, long story short, had a conversation with Elizabeth. And uh, I guess they're coming my way, apparently. But I'll fight them off with my Mako, so that's all good. If I don't... If I don't fall off. Ah, <laughs> great driving. I should probably not be a driver when I'm older. Okay, open. Open sesame.
kind of try to be more careful next time. Wait. There was something else back there, but never mind. Wait, let's look at the journal. can just stay there. You can't do this, Jong. <laughs> Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here. Get away from her, you son of a bitch. Lisbeth. Damn it. Come come out where I can see you. All of you. <sighs> Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope that Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. Uh, I want to kill him. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. I won't let you hurt these people anymore. Drop your weapon. Or be prepared to use it. If, if, if that's the way it has to be? Heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I'll deal with the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. Uh, where are the grenades? And anyway, I'll do the rest now. Yeah, not very much fun when I don't record because then you miss out on a bunch of stuff. Um, basically. I didn't even ask for that. How do I equip the special grenade? I don't know. I don't like this. 
because I know I'm using normal grenades which are gonna kill them. Why are there special grenades? Doesn't even let me switch out the grenades. It's gonna make me kill them. I hate this game so much. I see no grenades. Do you? No. Apparently they were given to me, so I guess I'm gonna have to kill these. They must die. Level up. I got this figured out. I need to melee attack them. So. Oh boy. So here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. But only comes to colonists. Which is gonna knock them out. Basically, run. Do the same with the colonists. That's gonna hurt, isn't it? Knocked out. And my sound is gone. I have, I'll have to restart the game now. So I don't know if I do have a problem, but I just crashed the game pretty bad, and uh, it was so bad that I had to. Um, shut down my computer manually so that was pretty bad so let's see if I destroyed everything or if I'm just like 10 minutes behind well that's pretty good actually never mind I'll just carry on working oh yeah alright I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. 
I won't! Okay. Uh, where do you go? <coughs> okay. Good to know. I can sneeze loudly on camera. Rolling's tougher than it looks. Uh, I hate it when I don't know where to go. The second game is so much better. Why do a dead end? Why? Okay. And I'm just stuck. Come on, the Thorin can't be that bad to fight. Uh, on another hand. Okay, we just have to find this thing and put a couple of rounds into... What the hell is that? That does not look like any plan I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now! No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in the new growth! Uh, don't dare you. Uh, oh, shield. Okay. 
Can you show me these things? Good to know. I guess I need to walk Commander, around. Commander, some sort of growth in here. Move out of the way. That hurt it. I can tell. A few more of those and it's in trouble. I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. I came to this world in search of the Thorian. Saren needed its knowledge, and he needed my biotic abilities to communicate with it. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity.
I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you all right, Shepard? What'd she do? <laughs> I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Cool. Uh, okay, let's get out of here.